Hello, hello everyone. Kumusta ang lahat, guys? Kumusta kayo? Ang tagal ko nang hindi nakapag-vlog, guys. Busy kasi ang lola niyo. Kayod lang kayod sa trabaho, guys. So, ngayon lang uli ako, my time sa pag-vlog. So, speaking of time, guys, today is my day off. So, that's why I have time to catch up with you. Ang plan ko this morning, guys, ay mag-impaki at papasok sa trabaho. Kahit day off ko naman today. It's because, guys, uh, we have winter storm again coming. We are expecting to get eaten to 20 inches of snow. So, schedule ko bukas sa trabaho and Thursday. So, yan yung plan ko guys na pupunta doon sa trabaho ng maaga doon na matulog. Magdala na lang ng pangbihis. We'll stay there for two days. But, kinausap ako ng asawa ko guys, sabi niya. It is ridiculous na pupunta ka doon ng maaga sa trabaho mo at magantay ka. Tapos hindi ka naman um, sasahuran sa mga oras na nagaantay ka. So, now I change my mind. Hindi na ako pupunta doon. So, tomorrow, kung hindi ako makapasok, then so be it. I will not take risk. Kasi nadala na ako guys. Hindi ko nakwento sa inyo last week. I was in the ditch. So, ikwento ko ang story na to. So, last week, guys, I was um, scheduled to work. That was Thursday, uh, Tuesday. I was scheduled to work 2.45 p.m. to 11.15. But then, the person who's scheduled for the night shift nag-call in kasi nga, she's not feeling well daw. Tapos, nakasircle ako. Ako yung nakasircle. So, it means, guys, pag nakasircle ka sa trabaho, you need to stay for more hours. So, instead yung out ko sa work, 11.15, nagiging 3 a.m. So, nagstay ako, guys, 3 a.m. Nung 3 a.m. na, tapos na yung work ko, pauwi na ako, guys. Lumabas na ako. So, nakita ko na, my gosh, nag-snow pala. Ang daming snow, tapos mahangin siya. Ang kapal ng snow talaga. Tapos mahangin. So, sabi ko, uwi ba kaya ako? Hindi. Pero, I was so stubborn and stupid na iniisip na makauwi talaga ako ng, ng safe. Nag-drive talaga ako, guys. Nung paglabas ko ng town, guys, sa tinatrabahuan ko, may dalawang car na papasok sa town. I was thinking, oh, I think the road is okay because they make it. The the two cars. So, nagtuloy-tuloy ako na pag-drive, guys, hanggang sa medyo malayo-layo na ako sa town. Doon ko na-realize na, na the weather is really, really, really bad. At kinabahan na ako, guys. Grabe talaga yung kabako at takot ko. Yung car ko, inuuga na. Grabe yung uga sa sakyan ko. Yung lagapak ng hangin sa labas ng kakatakot. Alam, alam mo yung parang bagyo sa Pilipinas. Ganun yung sounds nung hangin sa labas ng, ng sasakyan ko. Tapos yung snow, nagliparan na. Puro na white lahat. Hindi ko siya napansin nung nasa town pa ako. Kasi sa town naman guys, maraming bahay. So, nahaharangan yung um, hangin. So, medyo clear doon ang 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 visibility pero nung palabas na ng town kasi field na open field na siya doon ko na realize na it's really really bad it was bad idea to start driving in the very first place so now i decided na mag turn back so nag try ako guys tapos naka glass itong eyeglasses ko yung mata ko kasi guys mahina talaga to I inoon ko pa yung ano windshield ng sasakyan ko para lang maklear talaga makita ko talaga ng 
ng maigi yung daan pero hindi talaga eh. Hindi ko talaga nakikita lahat talaga white na, wala na talagang bakas ng ano ng daan na patutunguhan kasi puro level na lahat, puro white na, hindi mo na alam kung saan ka pupunta. So sabi ko Lord, nagdasal na lang ako ng tahimik, sabi ko Lord, ikaw nang bahala sa akin na gabayan mo ako na makabalik ako ng maayos doon sa nursing home. Sana hindi na lang ako um, umuwi pa at nagstay na lang talaga ako doon nagpalipas ng gabi. Pero I was so stubborn and so stupid. So yun na nga guys, bumalik ako guys, pagbalik ko guys, sabi ko, wala na, hindi ko na makita ang daan, bahala na to. Ikaw na bahala sa akin Lord. Nagpatuloy pa rin ako sa pag-drive, very slow. Hanggang sa namalayan ko, papunta na ako ng pay, downhill na yung drive ko. It means ditch. So, yes. I end up in ditch. So, nung na-end up na ako doon, guys, nagpanik ako, guys. My, I was so shaky and, and I start crying. Tapos, hindi ko alam kung anong gagawin ko. Tapos, Sabi ko, ano bang gagawin ko? It's, it's, can you imagine, 3 o'clock in the morning, stuck in the ditch, and nobody's there na tutulong sa'yo. Kasi nga, 3 o'clock in the morning, wala na. Mga tao, nasa bahay na nila, tulog na. Sabi ko, ano kaya ang gagawin ko? Una kong tinawagan ay yung asawa ko, guys. Tumawag ko sa telepono. Sinagot niya, sabi ko, sabi ko sa kanya, I'm, I'm here in the ditch. Tapos, pinagalitan pa niya ako, guys. Kasi nga daw, bakit pa daw ako nag-drive? Gayong masama yung panahon. Bakit hindi na lang daw ako nag-stay doon sa nursing home? So, sabi ko, anong gagawin ko? Anong gagawin ko ngayon? Nandito ako, nakakatakot. Yung hangin, inuuga yung sasakyan. Wala akong makikita, kundi lahat puti. Sabi niya, hindi kita matutulungan kasi may mga bata dito pag pag Pagpuntahan kita dyan, may possibility rin na mas tak ako at mas tak yung mga bata. Paano na lang? Sabi ko, no, 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 you can't come in here. So, he said na kailangan kong tawagan yung tow truck na tutulong sa akin para i-pull out yung sasakyan ko doon. But sa isip-isip ko, it, there's no way na matutulungan ako ng tow truck that time. Kasi nga, it's really, really bad. The visibility, it's really, really bad. It's all white. You can't say anything just white, plain white tapos sabi niya sabi ko okay but I did just Mama, try to call and he didn't answer the phone I really wanna play piano just wait a little bit darling okay okay just one minute mama yes Oh. and then and then sabi ng asawa ko you need to call to the sheriff office so binigyan na ako ng number tumawag ako dun sa sheriff office at um, babae yung sumagot sa akin. Sabi ko, officer, I need some help. I'm in the ditch. At tapos, marami siyang mga tanong, marami siyang uh, questions, mga questions sa akin kung anong location ko, anong name ko, blah, blah, blah. Binigay ko sa kanya. Sabi niya, ano bang, kail ano bang tulong ang kailangan mo? Kailangan mo ba ng tow truck para tutulong sa'yo na hilahin yung sasakyan mo? O kailangan mo lang ng someone na mag-pick up sa'yo dyan? Sabi ko, kung, kung may mahanap ka na tow truck na mag-tow sa akin, that would be great. And she said, okay, I will try to call the tow truck daw. So tinawagan niya, nung pagtawag niya, sabi ng tow truck, I can't help her right now because the visibility is really bad. Which was, that was my, you know, I was expecting it already. That's that's na ganyan yung sasabihin niya. Kasi nga it's really 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 bad. I I expected it already na hindi talaga niya ako matutulungan. So, the sheriff said, hindi kanya matutulungan but I will give you the number and and you will call him later as soon as the visibility is going to be clear. Then he will help you. Uh, tinanong niya ako kung anong um, gaano karami ang aking gas. Sabi ko, full tank naman ako. So, thank God na full tank yung gas ko. So, which is really, really good. Na kahit hindi ako 
Hindi ako uh, matutulungan. Is stand up. You're okay. You're okay, darling. Did you get hurt? Yeah. Where? In your head? Yeah, and in my butt. I slipped. Okay. When I was running on the sofa like a kitty cat. Okay, now you need to be careful, okay? Okay. Alright. I'm gonna ask Daddy for a coffee after I have a coffee. Okay. So, back to the topic, guys. So, sabi niya hindi daw niya ako. Um, what's that? So, asana ba nga tayo doon sa topic? Uh, yeah, about the gas. So, it's a. Uh, Blessing in disguise, guys, na yung asawa ko that day, pinunod niya yung tanki ng sasakyan ko. So, kahit mastak ako doon ng ilang oras, I think I will be fine. Warm pa rin. Eh, kailangan lang na hindi patayin yung sasakyan para I, I will stay warm. But still, nakakatakot, guys, kasi dito sa US, guys, uso talaga yung um, tornadoes. So, sa isip ko, guys, yun talaga yung iniisip ko kasi inuuga talaga yung sasakyan ko so, ng, ano, ng, ng hangin. Tapos, yung naririnig ko na lang yung hag, hagapak ng hangin sa labas. Tapos, wala kang makikita. Uh, yung ilaw lang is yung, yung ilaw ng sasakyan ko, bumper, bumper light. So, sabi ko, Lord, kay, ikaw na lang bahala sa akin. So, ay, nag- Nag-antay ako doon guys ng mga il ng uh, ilang oras, mga I think that was one hour. I think it was just one hour and a half and then suddenly guys uh, may um, pickup truck na, na dumaan. Tapos huminto siya. Tapos sabi nagtanong siya sa akin kung kailangan ko ba ng tulong kasi I put my emergency light, yung blinking light, ibig sabihin noon guys na may tao sa loob ng sasakyan pagka ganun. So it's a really emergency. So the the car, um, the the pickup truck stopped and asked me if I need some help. And I told him like, yes, I need help. Definitely, I need help. He said, I can help you. I can help you. I'm I'm going to town in, now in Rainville, and you can tell me where do you want me to drop you off. So I sinabi ko sa kanya na I drop mo ako doon sa nursing home. Sabi niya, okay. And then, paglabas ko ng sasakyan, guys, grabe yung hangin, guys, na dumampi sa mukha mo, na super lamig na. Ang sakit-sakit talaga ever. Mula nang dumating ako sa US, doon ko na-experience ang pinakalamig na ang sakit-sakit sa balat. Super, super ang lamig sa, sa skin. Kasi nga, yung hangin, guys, pagkahangin kasi, grabe talaga ang lamig niyan. Tapos, Iniwan na lang namin yung sasakyan ko doon. Tapos hinatid na niya ako sa nursing home. Pag, pagpasok pa lang namin doon sa ano, sa sasakyan niya, yung, yung guy na tumulong sa akin. Sabi niya, ganyan yung ginagawa niya kasi alam ko yung kamay niya is super lamig kasi wala siyang gloves. So, he's very nice man. Na bless his heart na tinulungan niya ako. Na sabi niya sa akin, mga dalawang oras siya nag-drive bago dumating doon sa um, sa sa area kung saan ako kung saan ako um, na na end up sa ditch sabi niya yung mind down niya sa yung mind down niya nagsasabi na kailangan na niyang bumalik doon sa trabaho niya at wag na lang ituloy yung pag-drive na pauwi but another side other side of her of his mind daw nagsabi na magpatuloy ka lang magpatuloy ka lang so i think daw because he he told me that he believe god so i think it's something like do something um has to 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 uh something it has to do about it na yung nagsasabi sa kanya na you need to go on kasi someone is needing your help. So sabi ko sa kanya, thank you so much you are um, an angel na dumating ka at 
tinulungan mo ako kasi otherwise I will I will stuck there guys like 5 hours I guess 5 to 6 hours so it's not it's not good so yun ang kwento guys kasi this is the second times na na-end up ako sa ditch but the first one it, the weather it wasn't bad but the road was so sleek it was like clear snow so I didn't notice it so I was like my car was zigzag 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 and I was so lucky that time too there's a um, truck coming on my opposite ways but still far so munti ka na talaga guys this time naman grabe rin panginginig ko kasi biruin yun yun 3 o'clock in the morning walang ibang sasakyan walang ibang makakatulong sa'yo ikaw lang talaga doon so, sabi ko, that's lesson learned. So, hindi na talaga mauulit yun. Never again. That's why today I decided na pupunta doon ng maaga para sa trabaho ko bukas at sa sunod na araw. But sabi ng asawa ko nga, it's ridiculous. So, tomorrow guys, if the weather's really, really bad and it's not advisable to travel, then I will not go to work. I will not take risk. It's not worth it. So, yep. Your new story, cool guys. Welcome to the Minnesota weather. And stay there, Maya. Why? Ayan na ngayon ang weather, guys. Nagsisimula na ang snow. This is a nice cold. Look, look at the snow, guys. Nagputi na siya. Kasi sabi mag-start daw, um, start at noon or 2 o'clock. So, nagsisimula na talaga. Nagsimula na siya, guys, oh. And the snow will last till Thursday. So, gayan, ayan na kasama. Ayan, white na talaga lahat, guys. Tapos, biruin nyo yun. 18 to 20 inches. Super. Pag nag-try ka pa niyan mag-travel, mag 18 to 20 inches, yung, yung car mo mas stuck na. Hindi ka na makakalabas. Ah, super lamig. Pasok ako sa loob guys. Nanginginig ako. Clean up. Your puppy was in my whole bed for a long time. Don't let it melt on the Okay. I am guys. Hey, you wanted me to teach you how to read that that road program, so Yeah, you teach me later, hold on. Yeah, I did try that to look at, but I don't know how to read oh, them. But you never asked me. I forgot. Oh my goodness, Mama. Now you made a whole mess. <laughs> what, darling? Now you made a whole mess. Yeah, that's what Daddy that said too. We make a whole mess. Pumasok yung snow, guys. Sa loob ng bahay. Oh, wow. Dumikit kasi siya sa slippers ko. So, yun guys, dito sa pagwinter dito, sa Minnesota, especially nasa Minnesota ka, dito sa US, kailang pagwinter talaga, pag nagbiyahi ka, you need to have shovel, extra blankets, um, you need to have uh, winter boots, and you need to have really thick winter coat hat 
thick winter coats. Para guys, pag ganastak ka, hindi ka, kung kunti lang ang gas mo at mas taka doon ng ilang oras, then you will be fine. Kasi, naka may blanket ka, may nakasuot ka ng um, winter outfit. And also, you need to have um, winter um, pants in your car. So, Para yun nga, okay. in case of emergency, may stuck ka or may end up ka sa ditch, then you can use all so, those um, stuff. Yep. Buhay dito guys sa Amerika. Sabi ko sa sawa ko, mm -hmm. lipat na lang tayo doon sa ano? Doon sa mainit na lugar? Sabi naman ng asawa ko, yeah right. Doon naman kasi sa mga maiinit na lugar guys, yun, doon din ang anuhan ng mga tornadoes. So pretty much dito sa, ano, sa, sa Minnesota, ganito pag winter talaga siya, talagang brutal yung weather pagka winter. Pero okay naman guys, wala naman ang masyadong naririnig dito na hinahagupit ng tornadoes. So, sabi ko, ah, mag-stay na lang tayo dito. Kahit super lamig, kahit ganito ang weather dito sa Minnesota, it's really unpredictable. Ngayon, kaganda-ganda. Bukas, bigla na lang maging ganito, mag-winter storm. Tapos, biglang uulan in, in, in the middle of winter season. Uulan, guys. Biruin nyo yun, uulan. Tapos, biglang sa gabi mag-freeze. So, wala na. Hindi ka na nga pwedeng maglakad sa labas pag mag-freeze na kasi dangerous na siya maglakad sa labas ng tubig, tumitigas na naging ice na. So, pag uh, naglakad ka sa labas, may possibility na ma-slide ka, uh, lagapak yung puwet mo doon, pwede ka pang maano, mabalian ng buto. So, ganyan, ingat-ingat nang talaga, no? Ganito ang weather dito, guys. Sabi ko, sawa ako, mali pa tayo sa Florida? Sabi niya, yeah, right. Doon ka sa Flori Florida. Laging may tsunami doon. <laughs> so, tiis-tiis na lang. So, ayan, guys. Yan yung chikahan natin today. So, so, if I can go to work tomorrow, guys, and then the following day, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday is my day off, then I have, like, one week off! Isn't that amazing? <laughs> well, I guess I'm gonna do something else. Probably I will do lots of cooking and baking with my kids. Maya likes to bake, so... I need some broom, otherwise it will get wet. That snow there will melt. So, ayan lang ang chikahan natin for today, guys. Keep in touch. At, um, ingat kayo lagi sa inyong mga sarili. Yeah, thank you for listening, guys, sa akong tatarat-tarat. <laughs> Alright, guys. See you in my next vlog. Bye-bye.